Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about five free alternatives to Microsoft Office Word. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay guys, now in this section here, we're going to be looking at the five different alternatives to Microsoft Office Word. Now, the first one is perhaps the oldest and perhaps even the best known free alternative to Microsoft Office Word, and that is Open Office. Now, Open Office is a, these are all downloadable, by the way, that you can have on your hard drive. And you, if you watched yesterday's video, you'll have discovered I was talking about a free alternative to Dragon Naturally Speaking, which means you can still do type, you can still do voice texting or voice typing on any one of these if you use the software that I recommended yesterday, which was called Lily Speech. The card above will have that particular video so you can watch it if you haven't already watched it okay so before we go any further let's have a look at open office open office has been around for a long time it's very much like the old office 95. now let's have a quick look at what that looks like we'll get it down here and we'll open this one up right here now of course you've got your regular text one here and you've got your spreadsheet and your presentation, which these three here on this side are perhaps the most used of them all. Now, of course, we can open up the Open Office Writer, and here you've got a lot of different tools that you can use. Now, let's say, for example, you want to use the voice typing like we were doing yesterday. Remembering on Sp Lily Speech, I went Control D. Now, watch this. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. But anyway, there it is. And I didn't have to type that in. It just did it for me. So remembering this is about speed. It's all about being able to replicate what you can do in Microsoft Office Word. Microsoft Office Word has the dictate. Well, 365 that is. Has the dictate section, which allows you to be able to speak into it. And dictate what you want to say so as you can see this works flawlessly in here as well by hitting control D but this is not about Lily speech but it is about the five different ones so this is open office writer and it is perhaps the oldest and maybe the best known one of the lot so let's go have a look at number two Okay, now number two is called LibreOffice, and let's have a quick look at what that one's like. So I'll go over here, here's LibreOffice just there, I'll open that up. Now I've got this one down as just the Word document, but you can get it as a spreadsheet as well as a presentation. Let's have a look at the presentation. I'll have to bring the presentation over onto the screen over here. And we also have the various options that you can choose from here when it comes to the different kinds you want. So you can choose from any of these templates just here if you wish to, or you can just stick with a blank one. It is completely up to you. We can get rid of that. This is the properties form. So we can get rid of that. And of course, you've got your usual editing features, much like you would in your MS Word. Now you've got over here, you've got just you, you obviously your files and so forth you got your edit your view and let's have a look at your slideshow so we can have a look at your slideshow you can obviously customize it you can do that let's have a look and see if we can figure out how to do animation so let's assume you want to animate this title here I'm just going to throw in some weird text and let's have a look and see if we can do anything like tools let's see what this does I haven't actually played around with this so bear with me if I'm 
don't know what I'm doing exactly because that's true I don't exactly know what I'm doing here I don't see anything about animation so it's kind of a very basic one here when it comes along to when it comes to animation and so forth it's not as good as Microsoft Office Word but hey once you learn your way around I'm pretty sure you'll be able to figure it out and this one here is called LibreOffice it's a very basic one now we'll get rid of that one just here no I don't want to save anything and of course this one here is let's bring that down to shrink that down a bit so you can actually see what we're looking at here and you can have a quick look here at this you can yeah your word document one looks very much like open office writer and the good thing about this one is it's very very similar from what I can see so yeah I, not too big a learning curve if you're used to Microsoft Office 95 now the next one we'll go to called free office now free office is yeah you know, it's a it's a fairly good one now I had to put that in a separate folder because it comes as individual documents now free office comes as individual documents it comes as a planner obviously which is your like Excel documents then you have your presentation which will open up very quickly because as product creators we do tend to use the the presentations fairly regularly now one of the things you'll need to do if you do to do decide to go this way is you're going to need to change this because the format here isn't great yeah page size you have to go here to page size and you probably want to go to 16.9 which is just there and this will allow you to do a full screen like you would if you were doing a regular presentation so this is how you'd probably want to do that you can also dis dismiss this section just here you also have animation as well as transitions and although the transitions and animations are a little bit limited you can still get around and it'll still give you a fairly decent animation and allow you to create a fairly decent slideshow now of course you also have your text maker which is essentially Microsoft Office Word but it doesn't have the dictate section but as I said before in the past if you have already downloaded Lily Speech you don't necessarily need that all you need to do is go control D the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog how now brown cow there we are now I just wanted to show you you didn't have to do voice typing using Microsoft Office Word so this one here is free office and of course it's also open source which is why you can you get it for free so let's go have a look at the next one now the next one we're looking at is called only office now you can get either you can either get a free version of it or you can get a paid version of it my suggestion would be just stick with the free version it is perfectly fine and you can go through it is very much like Microsoft Office Word so not too big a learning curve for most people so let's have a quick look at this one here it's called only office now of course you've got your documents you have your spreadsheets and you have your presentations let's have a look at the documents because obviously that's where you'll be doing most of your work if you're doing this and we wait for it to wake up there we are it starts off with fairly small areas here but of course if you want to insert things like you know blank pages you can also do things like breaks as well as tables you can insert images right here your shapes and hyperlinks and so forth you also got your layout this is also your reference tab collaboration protection and plugins so as well as your files where you can save as well as print 
So it's fairly simple, fairly basic, but it will do the job in a pinch. And once again, control D if you already have Lily Speech to be able to type and write at the same time. Now these are all really basic versions of Microsoft Office Word. Remembering these are free, so they don't necessarily have all the functionality that Microsoft Office Word would have. But if you're just wanting to do a quick ebook of say between 15 to 30 pages, then this will do you fine. Or even maybe 45 pages or whatever. You can create an entire ebook using these, that's not a problem. So let's go head off to the next one. Now here we are at WPS Office for PC. Now, if you wish to download it, obviously you just go there. But this one's fairly, this one is a little bit more robust and it can integrate with Microsoft Office Word if you want it to. Now I will give you one word of warning with this, that when you first download it, don't say you want to make this default because it will become the default program unless of course it is the only one you've got on your system in which case this will be the way to go now i'm showing you these in no specific order okay because i don't have a particular preference for any of these because i use microsoft office word 365 it is my favorite i'll always be using that so but if you don't have any money you have a PC but you'd like to have a free office version then this will be the way to go and of course the video for Lily speech is in the card above if you want to have a watch of that particular one so we'll have a quick look at this one it's called WPS office so it's over here so I'll just open that one up now you have got your various templates here. You've got your, over here, you've got your templates. Now this is one for your documents. You've got your documents just here. Obviously your Microsoft Office Word type ones. You've got your spreadsheets as well as your presentations. Let's have a look at documents for a second. We'll quickly open that up. And as you can see, it's very similar to how you would assume Microsoft Office is set up. And not unlike 95 in some ways as well. So it kind of has a bit of a mixture of both. Now you've got your different layouts here, you got your fonts, you know, very obviously what you get from your normal one, your font size, your different fonts. You know, it's not too big a learning curve here. And it's very, very similar to Microsoft Office. If you've got your view section here, so you've got your reading view, you've got your outline, your navigation pane, all the things you would recognize, your word count, your thesaurus, all the things you would recognize if you were doing this in MS Word. So this is perhaps the closest one to Microsoft Office Word that I found, and it's pretty good. But as I said, one word of warning, if you don't want to make it your default one, just be careful because it will prompt you to do that and if you accidentally click don't click off it it will become your default and it's hard to get rid of one you'll have to literally uninstall it and then reinstall it and click off that when it comes up so just that word of warning on that one but if you don't care about that and you want to get you want to get rid of your monthly payments of your Microsoft Office Word 365 then this might be the best alternative for you. So you can have a look at what you have here, you get your various tools and so forth. And it is essentially the way you want it. So let's have a look down here. We can scroll down here, menu. And of course you can exit, like we did, we can exit there. And now you can choose whether you want it to go a spreadsheet, which is very much like your normal spreadsheet would be, or your presentation. Let's have a quick look at presentation because I always find presentations a really interesting one seeing I do so much work with presentation now over here you've got your animation very similar to what you have with Microsoft Office as well as your transitions very similar to that they even have very very similar options here so there won't be too much of a learning curve on all this 
So I would say out of all of them, WPS Office is perhaps the best of them all. Even though this is not done in any particular preference, I would say this would have to be the best of the free bunch. Okay guys, that's it for this particular video. If you liked this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share, and also leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think of the, these softwares, and which particular one you'd be using. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.